Hello, welcome to the long-awaited part two of this uh, Mac um, template tutorial. Okay, we're, we're going to um, proceed where we left off. You remember you made a PSD file. I don't know where you saved it, but I saved mine in um, uh, documents. We're also going to make a thumbnail and a background. So if you um, navigate to where you stored that PSD file, if you can remember, I know it's been a long time, I stored mine in mail templates, and there it is, um, in mail templates, uh, and it's called mail.template.psd, psd being the, the file name for the Photoshop. Okay, we need a new folder. We'll call this Optimize because we're going to put all of the parts of this slice within this folder. It will also create a, a new folder called Images. Okay. Um, we're also going to store the thumbnail in there. So if you open up this uh, this file that you made in Photoshop, and we're going to slice this in three parts using the slice tool within Photoshop. We're also going to optimize for the web too. So we'll need to use the slice tool. I don't know if any of you have used this before. Um, I use it extensively when I'm making websites, and this is the slice tool. There's two parts, slice selection and slice tool. We want the slice tool. Also check within view that snap is ticked because then anything you do will actually uh, snap to the boundaries of the document um, and slices will snap to other slices. So we'll draw the first slice and make sure you include any graphics that you've made on that page. You don't want to slice through anything, uh, otherwise when it comes into mail uh, stationery, it will look a mess. Now we're going to slice the bottom, and within the the, the slice on the bottom, uh, we'll include just the bottom edge of the edge of the page. That's uh, slice number three. Um, it will actually call that three because it automatically makes a center slice. But just in case, we'll make the the center slice. So. There you should have three slices, um, slice one, two, and three. Now we need to save, save for web. Now this will bring us into another program, which is for the optimization. There's two, there's the original, uh, the optimized view, uh, but I normally go for a two view on this and take the second uh, one. Make sure you use the slice selection tool, shift, and then click each of the slices, all three slices. Then we need, because we need all these slices selected so that they're all saved as a JPEG and um, uh, in a medium JPEG. Okay, so once that's all done, we'll click Save. It will bring up a, a Save As dialog box. It's actually Save As Mail-Template.jpg. We'll navigate to the folder where we stored our other stuff and that new folder optimized. That's where we're going to store it. Um, as I say, mail-template.jpg. Don't worry about uh, any other names just this yet because uh, we'll sort that. Make sure images only is selected. Uh, you don't need to touch anything else here. And just click save. Okay, so if we have a look within that folder, you'll see if you navigate to that folder again, uh, mail templates, optimized images, it did make another folder within there, and there are the three images. Uh, this is the top, the middle, and the bottom, but they've no, it's numbered them one, two, and three. Right, now then, next part we're going to make a thumbnail. So we're going to close this one down, but don't save anything you don't, just close it and don't save and we'll reopen it by going file open recent and the last file we opened which was that one and there it is minus the slices so this thumbnail we're making is so you can actually choose your template within uh, mac mail when you come to choose stationery so we're going to um, change the size of this by using image image size and we're going to change it to 66 by 90. Now there's the original size that we set 740 
by 1002, but we're going to change that to 66. By changing it to 66, you'll notice automatically it changed the height to 90. Um, we'll leave the resolution at 72, and we'll also, everything else is checked. We don't need to change anything else there at all. Nothing at all on that. And then once you've checked everything's OK there, we'll click OK and then we'll save the web again. OK, so we'll go, there's your thumbnail. That's what it will look like within uh, your mail stationery. Save the web. Once again, we've got two views. Take the second one, which is the optimized view. Uh, it's got to be saved as a PNG. This is important. It has to be a PNG. Uh, so I've used PNG8. So save. And this one we will actually call thumbnail. And you'll notice it's got .png at the end. So th thumbnail. It's going in the same folder as where, where we stored everything else in the images. Uh, if you can't find it, then you know just go back, navigate to it to put it in image only save and that's done right next one we need to make is um, a background so this is for the the background of the actual uh, mail so we want uh, a new and we need this to be 135 by 231 um, I've already got it in there but this is important. We need these size correct. Resolution 72, transparent, OK that. Now, if you remember in the first part, we used the paint bucket tool with pan. We'll do the same again if you remember how to do that. So we'll choose uh, paint bucket tool and we'll choose pattern, not background, and then choose a pattern. You can choose anything you like. I'm just going to choose any one from here just for now, just to show you how to do the job. OK, we will use that pattern there, which is a corky type pattern. And then with your paint bucket, click in. And there you have a background. Now this will tile within mail, so file, save for web. OK, take the second, which is the optimized. And we need to save this as a JPEG medium. OK, so save that. And this time we'll just call it BG for now dot jpg in the same folder so navigate to your folder images and there we are we can dump it in there but we'll call it bg for short right that's all done there right now i'll just explain things while um, the, this is all um, changed around those three parts we're going to be using in the next uh, part of this tutorial um, uh, text editing tool oh sorry uh, html editing tool anyway i'm going to get on with that now i've done the recording for it anyway catch you a bit later bye